I, I think China is, uh, is kind of a developed and a developing country at the same time. Uh, it's, it, it is a, uh, obviously a huge economic juggernaut when you, uh, when you uh, see the big cities, they're you know, gleaming skyscrapers and, uh, and, and very modern looking. They still have somewhere between three and 400 million people, more people than live in this country, who live on a dollar or two a day. Uh, they're dirt poor in, in, in many parts, particularly the rural parts uh, of the country. Uh, so I, I, the, the, they're kind of both. They kind of are a hybrid, as, as, as you say. Uh, and I think that, that uh, we have to and are pushing China hard to take strong action. Uh, they can't be treated, you can't sort of put China in, uh, expe expect of China what you would expect of uh, poor countries in uh, Africa or Latin America or Asia. Uh, they are. They need to be treated, as do the other emerging market uh, uh, countries, uh, in a way that requires uh, real action, because it's the only way to, to to solve the problem. And over time, and I don't think a very long period of time, I think they're going to need to be treated just exactly the same as developed countries. But we're not quite, we're not quite there yet. Um, I, I will say that um, that if you look at what China is is doing it, on, on this issue, it's actually quite. Uh, it's quite impressive. It's not adequate yet, but uh, they're doing a lot. And I, I have sometimes said that I think the real competitiveness issue for us, the real competitiveness issue for us, is that we might think we're going to spend the next five years pushing China, and then we're going to spend all the rest of the years chasing them if we don't get our own act together. Because they're moving, they see big markets, and they're going to and they're going to and they're going to move if if we don't. 